Okay, so now we're doing another problem. We're doing 3 divided by a half. The problem we did in the last video was 1 half divided by 3. Um, for 3 divided by a half, I want you guys to decide which of these techniques you want to use. The partitive technique would be um, taking the 3 and breaking it evenly into half of uh, groups. And the subtractive or measurement concept would say, how many one halves can we take away from three? And because I couldn't even figure out how to say this one, I don't know that you actually need to pause. Let's just move forward. For this problem, there really is only one technique of division, division that we can use, which is why we spent time on the partitive um, versus subtractive techniques earlier. So the only way you can look at this is you have three whole pizzas or game chips or whatever you want to see, and you're figuring out how many one halves you can take away from three. So let's cut these all in half. Wait, let me clarify. We're not actually cutting them in half. We're not cutting the whole group in half. We're trying to decide how many halves there are in the group. So we cut them into pieces of size one half. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of size one half in our three, or that we can take away from our three holes. Okay, so let's figure out how we're gonna draw that. First, we're gonna draw three whole things. I like circles for this, but you can totally use whatever shapes you want to as long as they're easily cut. And then we determine how many one halves we can take from three holes. So you can go like this, and now we see one halves, and you can say that there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and if you want to emphasize that we're talking about subtraction, repeated subtraction as the definition of division, we can put in some Charmaine swoops that I'm not doing anywhere near as well as Charmaine used to do, um, and probably still does when she teaches her own class. Um, let's do that. So we have six one halves that we can take away from three holes. So that is the way that you can demonstrate subtractive or measurement division with this. Um, and it's also a way um, to think about measurements, to think about scooping out. If you need a half of an orange for each, re each recipe, how many can you scoop out? You can scoop out one, two, three, four, five, six. You can scoop those out. That's how I think of measurement. I wish I had a measuring cup here. Um, so anyway, that's a good way to talk about how many ways you can do that. Let me do the arithmetic part, which I can't even pronounce. Three divided by one half is three ones or three holes divided by one half, which is three holes divided by one half, but this looks totally silly. So we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator of our huge fraction by reciprocals so that we can cancel things out. The two and the two cancel, the one and the one cancel, and then you end up with six holes or six servings of size one half. Okay, I hope this helps with how to both draw and understand um, a whole number divided by a fractional number using the subtractive or measurement concept.